Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Quest 45 I think we're on. I don't know. Welcome back to more Dragon Quest. In the last episode we made our way through the Mand... Magba, Son of Thing, Summon of Forest, the Manda Grove, the Manda Grove, the Mangle Grove, the Mangle Grove. Um, we came in contact with Yegzadrills, Yezdrills, the Norse God Dude, uh, one of his tree vines, and we saved a guy from being a, a dog. And now we're here, continuing on, as you can kind of see what actually happened reading through the caption here, what happened last episode. Um, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead, keep pushing through. Uh, it's actually been a little bit since I recorded this. I know that Thunder and Joy were here in the last set of recordings, um, <clears throat> but they're- I'm coughing and dying. They're not here now. I did some, like, off-screen training, if you will. It was more or less just me crafting stuff, um, and then collecting stuff and fighting these things all over the place. Uh, so yeah, but we're gonna keep going forward. Kind of just make our way through the game. Uh, because then I can also kind of get caught up a little bit too, because for some reason I'm drawing a big blank on what we did in the last episodes. Um, I think I've done, I've been getting a lot done for Solid Jigger Studios, and I do a lot of these, uh, recordings and series in bulk ahead of time. So sometimes, like, I will take exponential amount of break in between these giant recordings due to me working on other projects, rendering, editing, and what are, these things are adorable. Drakis? That's the cutest thing in the world. Die. But yeah, anyways, we crafted some really good gear. We got like this scale shield plus three now, so we're I, I'd say we're pretty set in gear right now and levels and everything. We're pretty comfortable uh would probably be a good way to describe the way we're sitting right now um i forgot what we have to go do though is there a way i can go party talk what can you do right we're heading back to our hometown of cobblestone because one of it's okay so i remember now we're like uh we were thought to be like the dark one and not actually the good guy so, the king is sending two of his elite soldiers, and one of them is going to investigate Cobblestone from where we came from, and we're scared he's going to blow it up. That's a giant pickle with a stick. I'm killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Cruel Cumbers. What a name, dude. Yeah, so we have to make our way back to Cobblestone, I guess, save, save the village, uh, and kind of figure out what that's going on, um... Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I really drew a blank. I really shouldn't have. I should probably remember what we were doing more. I should probably put my recording sessions close to each other. Uh, but it was a little bit of a crossroad with the channel. Uh, we were starting other projects, side projects, working on projects with new co uh, creators for here on the channel, or new members, a part of the channel, if you will. Um, and that, that guy just ran. Why did he... Why? Where are you going? The fight's over here, you coward. Anyways, I like how it just stabs him as he dies there. Um, yeah, but working on some new projects. Uh, while this was recording, I was in the transition period of Kingdom Hearts 3 to Persona 5 and make sure and all that stuff was good and ready to go. So just been me getting the current stuff that's going live as this is being recorded going on. On top of that, today I found out there's a new Persona game coming out called Persona uh, R. Persona the Royale, or as it's going to be called. Um... And, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I- hopefully it won't come out before the end of summer, because we projected to finish Persona by the end of summer. Which will be fun! And then there'll be more Persona to play through. Which will also be more fun! I love Persona. What a great game. I'm glad my ace still works on one horseback. That actually makes me super happy. I think I'm going the wrong way, yes. Cobblestone's the other way, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we're making our way back. Um, Just slow, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, as I'm trying to fill in time on me actually remembering what the hell I was doing with this channel. Before I got caught up in everything else. Am I going the right way again? I don't remember fighting these frog guys, so I don't think I'm going the right way anymore. 
Yeah, that's the castle. I want to go the other way. I really enjoy the enemies. Like, they're just real. Like, everything about this game is just really. I like the story. The enemies are kind of like this wholesome quirkiness in the beginning that really make them feel like entry-level enemies. Yeah, it's the simple way of putting it. They feel like entry-level enemies. Like, they look weird. They want to fight you, but they're also kind of adorable, too, where you're like, okay, fine, I'll let you live later on when I'm more powerful, but right now give me all the power I can possibly handle. I don't know how the rest of the game come out is going to handle. This is my first time playing a Dragon Quest game, as I've mentioned a couple times throughout this Let's Play. But yeah, this is going to be fun, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's been uber's amounts of fun. I think we're close to cobblestone now. Again, very close. I actually just went the entire wrong way. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's so precious. They're all going to die. Aw, what a cute puppy. Where's our big dog? People just not recognize us anymore? Huh? What? I just broke her basket, I'm sorry. Or her bucket. Do the people here not remember us? Oh. That's... What what happened? Did Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. They they don't remember us. Uh, why don't they remember me? You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table, and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? So, this guy's power, who invaded our area, made us forget all about us. Nonsense, are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Oh! Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Well, that's not good. It seems like the village has gone back in time, then. Because that used to... She was older. And that pup... Oh, that's the same dog! He's a puppy! Oh, no! Oh, no. And there's... Yeah, yeah it's drills.
It's got the cutest bark. Bark, bark, meow, meow. So are we gonna meet six-year-old us then? Thank you, Mister. Oh. My name's Gemma. Who are you? But that can't be right. Oh wait, I get it. That's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. <laughs> so, our village got traveled back in time. It's so cute. I want that dog. That is so goddamn precious. This is so wholesome, yet so heartbreaking. I'm so conflicted. I want to cry out of sadness and joy at the same time. My body is not able to handle this. Okay. Alright, so... So, how did we make... So, how did... So, I guess the guy has time... I forget which... What the guy's name was. Yeah, that's us! That is us! Hey, Grandad. Can I borrow your ladder? Oh, we can talk? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. Oh! oh, oh, oh. It's Chuck! I'll be having that now. Okay. He's alive. Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got Hold on, did we just change the timeline then? He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. What? I knew <laughs> what is happening? Baby, after all, I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Oh, sorry, I hit a button. I see. So you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnesian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. So are we making a separate timeline? How things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything. Instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Okay, three-sided rock. Oh. oh, but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. What? What? So are we back in our timeline now? Okay, so we're in our timeline now, right?
No, we're not in our timeline now. Huh. Thanks for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play anytime you like. <laughs> Play now. Well, we could play, um... All right. Okay, so we're slowly fading back into our time. All right. There's the luminary symbol. Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. Oh, shit. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here, what kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing. And so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... And yourself? That is seriously weird. That's kind of cool. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well... If what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but... Hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Is everyone dead? That is that's the dark spawn, isn't it? I can make a Templar uniform, that's pretty good. That thing keeps showing up everywhere. Were they all taken to prison? I assume so. Man, I'm getting mad sad over this, dude. Mad sad.
Okay, well. Make our way, I guess, towards Cobblestone Falls then. Is it through the town and across, or do I have to go down? It looks like it'll go down and out. I wonder if there's anything else I can find. I'm supposed to go towards the river there? Okay. Maybe I am going the wrong way? All right, there's the falls. Or a fall. Okay. <sighs> uh, current objective: head to the Emerald Coast to investigate the three-sided rock near Cobblestones Falls. Okay. That's a little too big. Okay, so I have to go back, up and out. Okay, gotcha. I thought I could access it from here. Sorry for the confusion! Okay, exploring never hurt anyone anyways. I even set up a cannon here too. Ah. Uh. Okay, so it's just up and around by the looks of it. There's two ways to the Emerald Coast, though. Is it the close one I take? Or the far one? It would be the... Because we came out the close one, didn't we? Pretty sure we came out this direction. Nope, never mind. There's a different area of parting. Hey, perfectionist pearls, those are good.
King's Barrow, Cobblestone Falls, yeah. Okay. Three sided rock. I'm assuming it's over here. Jug of fresh water. Okay, he said you'll know it when you'll see it. That looks like it. Letters, huh? The top one there seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. <laughs> good way to good good way to start a letter. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms, and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escape to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Yeah, well, guess what you can't do. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? Well, there's a this game like we're not even like the first chapter of the game and this game's just smacking us with everything. To my dearest grandson I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. Oh. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. Okay, I'm not crying, you guys are. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth remember now don't waste your time I'm bearing, bearing grudges, grudges and live, live a life, life with, with love in your heart all the best now and forever granddad oh my god this game wants me to cry holy hell Ooh, cold chills man Ooh. I have goosebumps right now. Goosebumps. Alright, we got a keystone. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow is not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. Sure, we'll get you your orb. But we're going to end today's episode off here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Age 
What is this? Echoes in an elusive age. There we go. If you guys enjoy, make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more A Dragon Quest. Bye bye.